Hi everyone, today I will show you how I extracted silver from electronic components. Due to its high conductivity and great corrosion resistance, silver can be found in many components. More than 1000 tons of silver is used in electronics every year, that is roughly one fourth of all silver production. I started with 350 grams of crushed ceramic capacitors. To them I added 250 milliliters of 10% nitric acid. Nitric acid will dissolve silver and other metals and uh, turn them to soluble nitrates. The reaction will also produce nitrogen oxides. These toxic gases are the reason why this reaction should always be performed in a well ventilated place. Another warning, nitrogen oxides will pass through most general use gas mask filters. If you wish to use a gas mask, you must get specialized filters that are marked with a blue and white line. Unless the procedure specifically calls for concentrated nitric acid, you should always use diluted nitric acid because some of the gases produced will redissolve in water and not be released into air. If you wish to speed up the reaction, you can heat it up, but beware of increased gas production. When all of the metals were dissolved, or at least the overwhelming majority of them, that is, and the capacitors began to fall apart, I filtered the solution. Fine ceramic dust that was formed passed straight through the cheap filters I was using. Knowing that there was probably still some silver left in those capacitors, I saved them for a second leaching. I dealt with majority of the sediment by carefully decanting the solution. Then I added hydrochloric acid to precipitate silver chloride. Mm -hmm. 
silver chloride always forms this fluffy looking precipitate so it might appear that there is a lot of it but this really isn't a big amount This is how it looks after I let it settle overnight. I carefully decanted the liquid and washed the precipitate with distilled water. I saved the decanted liquid and added a copper pipe to it. Copper will reduce any precious metals left in the solution. To get silver out of silver chloride, I used the lye and sugar method. I slowly added sodium hydroxide, which reacted with silver chloride, turning it first to silver hydroxide and then to silver oxide. When I made silver oxide, 
I added fructose to reduce it to silver metal. Once reaction was finished, I filtered, washed and melted the metal powder. In hindsight, I should have dried the filters before the whole melting step. I used more gas to get rid of the water than, I, than to liquefy the silver.
When silver collected into one blob, I stopped the heating and extracted it with pliers. Extracted silver weighed 7 grams. This is 2% of the starting mass. Black staining on copper indicates the solution contains palladium. Metal I will be extracting in my next video. Like, subscribe and see you next week.